Tecumseh. Thank you, Speaker. Let me tell you about an amazing individual by the name of Ralph Mayville. His father died just weeks before the outbreak of the Second World War. He was just 17 years old when he signed up. He signed up with the Essex Scottish, was sent from Windsor to London, ended up in the RCR as the Royal Canadian Regiment. He was paid $1.10 a day. Half of that was sent home to his mother for food. He got shipped to Italy, ended up in an elite combined American and Canadian commando unit known as the First Special Service Force. He was trained on the ground as a paratrooper, but never actually jumped out of an airplane. One time, Ralph spent 99 straight days in combat on the front lines. During night patrols, these commandos blackened their faces with boot polish, slipped behind the enemy lines, armed with V-42 combat knives to take out enemy sentries and patrols. They'd leave behind calling cards, which read, the worst is yet to come. They became known as the Devil's Brigade, or the Black Devils. Hollywood made a movie about them. Because he never jumped, Speaker, Ralph refused to wear his paratrooper wings until a couple of months ago. At the age of 92, Ralph Mayville jumped with a skydiving instructor from 14,000 feet, and he says it was so beautiful he never wanted it to end. I know Ralph is a gentleman, a man of honor, a man who never wore his wings until he felt he deserved them. I attended his pinning ceremony at the Canadian Historical Aircraft Association hangar on the Sunday before the recent election, Speaker, and I have to tell you, what a day, what a man, what a life. Ralph Mayville, a well-deserved salute, sir, from the Ontario Legislature.